Gypsy is the story of a monstrous mother who tries to live out her dreams and ambitions through her daughters. It's considered one of Broadway's greatest shows, and it's heading to a theater near you very soon. Bridget Winder plays one of those two poor, poor daughters. She's here from Theater Tuscaloosa to tell us more. Bridget, it is great to see you. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for asking me to come. Absolutely. You're a very busy young lady, so I appreciate your valuable time. No problem. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk a little bit about poor, poor Louise. Poor Louise. Yeah, absolutely. She, uh, she's not the favorite daughter, is she? She is not the favorite daughter. She's actually... You kind of feel bad for her. She's, she's pushed aside. She's forgotten about. But in the end, she gets her vengeance, for sure. I guess she does. Is that how you interpret it? Is, is vengeance what happens with her? Not really vengeance. The, <clears throat> the, funny, the interesting thing about Louise is you think that she could be jealous of her sister June, that she gets the spotlight the whole time. But she's always, she's always really happy for June that June gets the spotlight because it's not the audience's appraisal that, that she wants. It's really just the attention of her mother that Louise wants, and that's all that she fights for. There you go. I've been shooting a little video. Let's give the folks at home a look at behind the scenes at Gypsy. It's not really so much behind the scenes as it is in front of the <laughs> stage in near darkness. And there's Bridget right there singing one of the, I guess, the only tender, sweet kind of song in the show. Bridget. It is the only one in the show. Tell us a little bit about this role in relation to, well, let's set this up. You're a musical theater major, right? I am at the University of Alabama. Now, uh, what year are you? I will be a senior this fall. So this has become an old hat to you. You've been doing this for a while. Gypsy is actually my 25th show. Wow. Yeah. All right. I was talking to Courtney yesterday about different things that she has done and, and, and she's been involved with. Where does being a burlesque dancer fit into Bridget Winder's world or <laughs> world of, of theatrical experiences? It, I've never done a role like this before. I've never played an underdog let alone a burlesque dancer. So this has definitely been a challenge. And Louise, you get to watch her. You get to watch her grow from her adolescent childhood into a woman. And it's a really, it's a really challenging and interesting role that I've been honored to play. Now, you're working in two different worlds as a UA student. Uh, over at the theater department here, Dr. Williams, and all those people do such a great job of challenging you kids. Uh, and presenting you with material that otherwise you probably wouldn't encounter. So what's it like going from that sort of academic, theatrical, very artistically heavy environment to going to Theater Tuscaloosa and, and you know, hanging out with clowns like me and Brett John? <laughs> no. Uh, the great thing about theater is it's always a learning env environment. Whoever you work with, if, if you go into it looking at, looking at it that way that you can just learn from anyone. And I've learned so much from Ava, so much, just standing in the wings and watching her. And she's just doing a phenomenal job and learning so much, even from the little kids, if you just watch them. And, and from everybody's perspective, from I get, get to work in the costume shop with Miss Jeanette and Jeanette Waterman. And so I, I'm getting the opportunity to learn from a lot of different ends. And then, at the university, I'm learning as a student, and there's always room to grow. There's always room to be better. Did you think that this show, whenever you auditioned for it, would, would end up being the sort of challenge for you that it has? Because you have so many costume changes <laughs> in your own stage, so much from about midway through the first act all the way to the end. I just don't see how you handle it all. Well, when, when I come downstairs and make my first entrance during act one, um, I don't go back upstairs to the dressing room until intermission, and then I don't even sit down during that part. I'm doing my hair again for the beginning of Act 2, and then I go all the way through the end. But it's challenging. It's physically challenging. You have to eat and sleep and train like an athlete. And, but it's just it's been so much fun. It Absolutely. really has been so much fun. All right, one more quick question, then I'm going to let you get out of here. Which song gets stuck in your head from the show? Rose's turn. <laughs> Absolutely. I had jurors. To my benefit, it is stuck in my head. I had jurors earlier today. The uh, uh, um, Oh, your song that you sing in the dark. What, we just showed Little Lamb. Day. Little Lamb. That, that has been in my head all day today. All right, Bridget, I'll see you later tonight. Thank you so much for Thank you. Today. You can catch Gypsy July 13th through the 22nd at the Bean Brown Theater. That's out at Shelton State. For tickets and showtimes, 
Call 205-391-2277 or online at theatertusk.com. <clears throat> and what's that you say, Dan? I need some tickets. Well, then pick up the phone and dial 348-7000. Be the fourth caller, and you'll win a family fun pack of tickets to see Gypsy. Come see Bridget, some, uh, come see Courtney, and come see me. Call 348-7000 and be a winner. 